Hi everyone and welcome back. It's Vicky here with my monthly One Kit 10 Cards feature. So today I'm going to work with the Simon Says Stamp April Card Kit. Make sure to visit my blog because I have a giveaway there for this kit. So let's take a quick look on what's inside. The kit is still available, it has just been released yesterday, so if you are not a subscriber you can grab it if you want to. So first of all you get this brush by Tim Holtz, this is one of his new brushes and they are not available yet in the market. And I think it's awesome that you get one of those in the kit, so you get to play with it and find out if you like it. And um, you can actually pre-order these, I think they will be available next month. Now if you want to put the cap back on, it has this uh, great system, so it, uh, the brass is going to be in a perfect uh, condition every time. I am planning to make a video on these brushes because I really love them. You don't really need one for every ink pad that you have. Only seven would work great, one for each color family. And you can even use some acrylic paint like the ones I have here on the ring so you know which brush goes with which colors. Or you can use a washi tape in uh, the coordinating color. In the kit you always get a lollipop and that really grabs my cat attention, you will see that you will find out later on in the video. Now you also get two ink pads from the Distress Oxide inks and if you don't have any of them, another great idea so you can play around with them and see if you like them. Now you also get a big stamp set, this is a stamp set that is bigger than one what uh, you normally get with those kits, so I'm going to grab one from my stash so you can see the difference. The stamp set is called Beautiful Day and you can get it separately if you want to. It features lots of uh, butterflies in different designs as well as lovely handwritten uh, sentiments. In the kit there is this beautiful stencil with lots of butterflies, some are solid and some have a lovely design. A couple of them you can layer one on top of the other and you will see me do this uh, technique later on. You also get this fancy foil which is called Sparkling Silver and it's from Therbon Web and Gina K Designs. And it didn't took too much for my cat to realize that I opened up the box and he can grab uh, the lollipop. I don't allow him to eat the lollipop of course, but he can play around with that uh, all over the house for the whole day. And since there is a weird relationship between cats and boxes, he decided to make himself comfortable inside the box that I'm working with. I got lots of emails and comments about my cat that uh, you don't see him as often, so I decided not to edit out this part of the video, but uh, normally this is what I have to put up with every day. As always you get your 6x6 pattern papers, these are 12 papers by Lone Phone from the Really Rainbow collection. As you can see it has a really bright colorful papers, perfect for spring cards. You also get two white envelopes, these are by Simon Says Stamp and they are called Brilliant Ultra Heavy White Envelopes. And you also get your cardstock, you get two whites and four colored ones and the white ones are the super extra heavy cardstock that Simon Says Stamp sells, it's 120 pounds and I absolutely love this because it's great for creating your card bases, nice and sturdy. So let's move on and start uh, creating our 10 cards for today. For my first card I am uh, stamping three different images from the stamp set, so the leaves and the butterfly, and um, I'm going to color everything with my alcohol markers. I'm actually going to use my Alta New alcohol markers that I absolutely adore, and uh, once I color everything I'm going to use my scissors to fuzzy cut all the images. It's not that difficult, just make sure to leave enough white border to make your life easier. Now I have created this panel out of the yellow pattern paper included in the kit and I have also used a circle die to cut out this window. I have actually used foam squares at the back that adds a little bit of dimension. Of course you can easily turn this card into a shaker card but instead I'm going to leave it as it is. I'm going to stamp the sentiment inside the circle. And then I'm going to add all the cutouts around my circle. Now to stick everything down I'm going to use my Nouveau Deluxe white glue. To make my card special I have uh, created a bow using this uh, satin white ribbon and I'm going to stick this down where those two leaf branches meet. To finish off my card I also used my white Nouveau drops to add some dots randomly on the card. 
For my next card, I use this uh, butterfly from the stamp set and I'm going to stamp it with black ink in this 6x6 pattern paper. I just love the colors in this paper with all that rainbow order and I'm making sure that as I stamp the butterflies down, I pick different areas so that I can end up having all the colors pretty much in my card. I'm going to use my scissors to fuzzy cut all the butterflies. It's not that difficult because they have a nice bold um, black lines. And now I'm going to do some stamping. My um, sentiment is going to go in between those butterflies. These are not uh, stuck down yet. I have just placed them there temporarily. And um, I need to add uh, the antennas for the butterflies. So I'm going to place the stamp on top of uh, the butterfly. And then I can add some black ink only on the antennas. Or you can just stamp uh, the whole uh, butterfly one uh, below the other. I just thought that was easier for me at that point. So anyway, I'm just going to stick all those butterflies on my panel and I'm making sure that I follow the rainbow order. So my panel is ready. I can now stick it on top of my card base and I'm also going to embellish my card a little bit more by using a strip of uh, paper from this pattern paper that I used to cut out the butterfly. And to finish off my card, I also used some enamel dots to match the colors of my butterflies, just to embellish them a little bit more. For this card, I have stamped this beautiful butterfly from the stamp set, and I am coloring in all the areas using different uh, Prismacolor pencils. I'm not going to do any blending here or um, shading. I'm just going to color each area with a different pencil. And um, I'm just embracing this stained glass look that this image has. Once it was colored, I placed it back on my stamping platform and I haven't uh, moved the stamp at all from the first stamping that I did with black ink. So now I'm going back and I'm stamping on top of the black uh, ink with my um, a Versamark ink. And this is going to apply Versamark only on top of the black lines so that I can now apply my black embossing powder. I'm going to melt the embossing powder with my heat gun and you will see that I will get this beautiful stained glass effect at the end. I added foam tape at the back and I'm going to stick that on a standard card and I just stamp the sentiment between the butterfly leaving everything quite simple since this butterfly here is really stunning. For this card I'm working on a watercolor paper and I'm applying some Salty Ocean Distress Oxide ink with my blending brush. I'm trying to keep everything quite subtle since this is going to end up as my background and I'm going to cut it out with this rectangle die. But first I'm going to apply some water splashes since I absolutely love this look. I'm going to blot them with my cloth. And again I'm going with butterflies as the focal point of this card. So I picked one of the butterflies from the stamp set and I'm going to stamp it twice with a Versa marking and I'm going to emboss them with white embossing powder. Now in this piece of white uh, paper you can't see it but uh, the butterflies are actually embossed there. So I'm going to color them with Distress Oxide inks and for that I'm using squeezed lemonade that was included in the kit and I'm combining it with uh, spiced marmalade that I already had in my stash. And of course you can use your good old blending tools for this technique and also play along with one of the brushes that you got in the kit just to test it out and see all the different looks that you can get. I used scissors to fuzzy cut the butterflies and I'm also going to add some wires which are going to be the antennas of my butterflies. I went with keep smiling as my sentiment and then I'm going to stick this panel on top of the blue card base. And I also used my Nuvo glitter drops to add some dots here and there. For this card I'm going to play with my stencil and I'm going to add all those butterflies in rainbow colored order. Now of course you can use any type of ink that you have. I decided to go with my Distress Oxide inks. Now instead of starting with uh, a red color I decided to go with a bright uh, pink one just for the fun of it. And you will see me going all the way to orange, yellows, greens, blues and I will end up with purple.
And it is wise to use some uh, masking tape to hold this uh, stencil down, but it's not the end of the world. You will see that uh, although I'm holding it, I'm going to move it now, but um, it is easy to place it back in place and just uh, continue with inking up the rest of the butterfly. I stamped thinking of you with black ink on my panel and then I'm going to stick this on top of my yellow card base. I also used some clear nouveau drops to add some dots here and there all over the place just because I like it as a finishing touch. And I'm going to play with my stencil a little bit more so for the next card I'm going to apply archival ink through one of those butterflies and that's actually vibrant fuchsia. I think it's a beautiful color, really vibrant and perfect for spring. I'm going to add two of those butterflies using this technique. After cleaning my stencil, I'm going to use one of the other butterflies that um, can go on top of uh, the first image beautifully and you can see that it gives you all those details. And uh, I'm going to go over this with my glimmer paste. I am applying a generous amount with my spatula and once I know that everything is nicely covered, I can pick up the excess and put it back in the jar. So I'm going to lift it and you can see the beautiful result and I'm going to repeat the same process for the next butterfly. Glimmer paste dries quite quickly and um, once everything was dry I used the same ink to stamp my sentiment and I went with I adore you and I finished off my card by adding some dots with my nouveau drops and I guess using my nouveau drops to finish off today's cards turned into an obsession but it was so fun to use them. Now I'm going to create a very artistic looking card, so I'm working on a watercolor paper and I'm using my stamping platform to stamp um, this uh, branch of leaves a couple of times. I'm using Versamark ink to stamp everything and then I'm going to apply my white embossing powder and heat set everything. Now you can't see anything in this white piece of paper but trust me the images are there and they will start to appear as I add color into them. I am using my Aquaflow pens by Nuvo. These are actually watercolor pens and I'm combining two colors here, the green and the yellow one for the leaves. And the image starts to appear once I start adding the blue for the sky, for the background. So I am not going with uh, the Aquaflow pen directly on my paper since I want to have a very subtle look. So instead I added a little bit of that color from the brush on my glass mat and I'm picking it with the brush. I'm not going for the perfect background here, I like this artistic look, so I want to have other areas darker and others lighter. And I can even add some uh, splashes on top of my paper, and I'm not going to cover up the whole white area. For the sentiment I went with the one that says have a beautiful day, I stamped that with black ink. And since I'm working on a watercolor paper, I made sure that I used my stamping platform just uh, to avoid any messes. I'm going to stick this panel on top of my yellow card base. And of course, I will add some white dots with my Nuvo drops. For the next card, I'm going to work on acetate. And I will go for a beautiful card that has that um, stained window look. So I'm going to use my stamping platform and I'm going to stamp this uh, beautiful butterfly with Stazon ink. This is black Stazon ink and it's perfect for stamping on uh, really slick surfaces such as acetate. I'm going to stamp this twice just to have a nice dark impression. And then I'm going to leave this to dry and then I will color everything on the back with my alcohol markers. Make sure to flip and color at the back. It really makes a difference and uh, you will not um, ruin your markers by smearing or smudging the black lines. Also place the acetate on top of a white piece of cardstock so you can see what you are doing. I decided to go with a pale pastel colors but you can go with brighter colors to make uh, your butterfly look really vibrant. I'm not doing any blending here, I'm just coloring different areas with different markers. And you can see here the finished result. 
So now I'm working on my card base and at the front I'm going to cut out a window using this square die. And here is my window after running it through my big shot. So now I'm going to use some tape adhesive to go all around this window and I can stick uh, my acetate on top. This way it's going to give me a very clean look at the back on the inside of the card. But uh, we need to cover up somehow this uh, uh, tape adhesive at the front. So I used uh, two square dies, one inside the other, to cut out a frame. And I can stick the frame in front to cover up the mess. You can also use foam squares at the back if you want to have some added dimension. And hopefully you can see how the light goes through the window and you can see the colors at the back of the card. So pretty! To keep everything nice and simple, I just stamped my sentiment, a small sentiment, below the frame and my card is ready. Now let's play with the stencil a little bit more. I'm going to play with uh, a few of the butterflies, the ones that actually have a detail on top of them. And I'm applying again glimmer paste, but this time I'm working with uh, the silver one. I'm going to place one more butterfly at the top. I'm always uh, applying more than I need, but I can always scrape off the excess and put it back in the jar. Just trying to be very neat here, so I end up with a beautiful butterfly. I place this panel on top of a pattern paper that's the standard size, four and a quarter by five and a half. A really quick and easy card, but so sparkling. For my next card, I'm working on a watercolor paper, and with a blending tool, I'm applying uh, a good amount of uh, Mermaid Lagoon. I have sprayed directly on paper with lots of water so that I can move the ink around. And I'm going for a very artistic look uh, now, so I will add some splashes and I will leave this background as it is. Now I'm going to use the stencil again and this time I'm going over one of the butterflies by using texture paste. You can use modeling paste, you can use any paste that you have at home. I'm working with white and since I have a darker background it's going to show beautifully. I'm removing the stencil for the big reveal and I think this looks stunning but I'm going to make it even uh, more gorgeous than it already is by adding some um, glitter by Nuvo. The glitter is going to stick on top of the embossing paste so it's going to dry together with the paste which is going to lock it nicely on top of your paper. I'm going to stamp thinking of you and then I'm going to stick this panel on top of my card paste that I have created from the cardstock that was in the kit. So now let's take a quick look on all the 10 cards that I have created using products from the April card kit by Simon Says Stamp. And notice that I have actually created 9 out of 10 cards with butterflies. I think that the April card kit is a great uh, stash builder and uh, let's take a look on what's left on my kit after creating all my 10 cards. So of course you will get uh, the two inks for your stash, you will get this beautiful and very versatile stamp set, the stencil that I used again and again, I do still have a couple of card bases and lots of pattern papers since I didn't uh, use them, I do have the envelopes, the foil paper and of course I do end up having the brass. So these were the 10 cards for today, here are some close-up photos. Don't forget that there is a giveaway on my blog, so make sure to visit and leave me a comment there for a chance to win this card kit. Now the card kit is still available, it has just been released yesterday, so if you want you can still grab it, but I will leave links down below to the product separately in case you want to grab just the stamp or the stencil. Thank you all so much for watching and for all the lovely comments. I will see you all on Friday with a fun collaboration, so until then, have a great day!